No, uh, actually, if if uh, both backups location are same, then no, 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 no. That's, yeah, okay. that's I got it. You got it. You yeah, can get anyone. Anyone, anyone, you can take. If uh, if the single backup is generating or two control files, uh, we can take any one of the control files. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, backup is uh, uh, restored, right? Uh, the database is restored, right? Yeah, database is restored. Oh, fine, fine, good, good. Yeah. I need to try a couple of options, like uh, like uh, what are like. Yeah, I'll try some more. Yeah. That is an issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. Mm. I'm connecting to database. I have one question for you. Like, one is different between ODAC and 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 Okay. Client is nothing but a uh, uh, client is nothing but uh, this one only SQL place. Oracle client is nothing but uh, SQL place. SQL yes, place, you are right. But yeah. okay. Yeah. See, uh, I started the database, so I'm getting this error. Yeah, no, okay. the data file four. Yeah, we missed. Okay. So I have my Armin backup, previous Armin backup. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to worry about this one. No need to shut down the database also. Okay. Yes, you are. Right. Okay. Then come out from this session. But only thing is we cannot restore only only one file, right? Like the last. Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, that one I I would like to show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now it's connected to database. Uh, then uh, uh, we need to perform this one. Uh, we need to uh, make offline the table space SQL under table space users. Okay, offline immediate. Okay, database is not yet started. Okay. Actually, yesterday what happened is I tried different different scenarios. 
had them slept up. Mm. Okay, well in this case, we can be sort of... Yeah. But in this case, we, we have not set the catalog, right? Yeah, we haven't set the catalog. It's the same thing. Using our target database control file only. In the stuff, uh, recovery catalog. You got it right. It's saying it's not using uh, catalog control file. Yes, as you see here. Yeah. So if we use a catalog database, uh, then it will say like, uh, I'm using ca catalog control file like that. Okay. Okay. So uh, if you see here, in this option, uh, yesterday what happened is uh, I tried to corrupt the data file uh, from OS level. Okay. Okay. So then uh, I tried to corrupt the data file and uh, uh, and I uh, switched off the everything, okay, VMware and everything. So today morning I am starting my uh, op uh, database and everything. Then it's saying this operation. So uh, I have the backup of uh, all the data database backup with the archive logs, okay. So okay. But I want to restore only data file four. So then we need to give data file four. Okay. okay. Then uh, I'm uh, recovering the data file. Okay. Okay. Again, uh, test. Uh, but actually, I have the backup uh, till uh, users uh, table space only. I don't have backup this one. We'll see whether uh, it will uh, get it recovered. Okay, so it is recovered up, uh, after the back. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Created file is already exist. Okay. Okay, now what I need to do is, if you see the error here, uh, the file is already exist, uh, we are trying to recover.
And one more thing, is there a way to pull out the data yeah. files from yeah. the backup backup set? Yes, uh, uh, without without restoring it somewhere, because they will be in uh, what is it? Different format, right? Uh, then you need to take only a table space backup. Okay. Yeah, without complete backup, only table space backup you need to take. Okay, the file is uh, created. Okay, this one dot it. We'll see. So this is also restored from the backup only, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, from backup. So uh, what I have done is uh, I have taken the backup before uh, this uh, test DBF uh, table space, uh, okay. and uh, I performed like a voice level uh, corruption. Okay, I will show you the okay. command how to corrupt. So uh, so I went out and I came back and uh, now I am starting the database. Now it's saying uh, these two files are corrupted from voice level. Okay. Yeah. We'll see that scenario once the database is recovered. What happened is yesterday night I didn't get this error because the corruption happened for only some of the blocks. Okay. Oh. Let's say whenever I am inserting the records or when I am creating the table also it is accepting that time. Okay. So now, uh, but uh, Armin is the future uh, like uh, we can able to perform the backup uh, online only without shutting down the database. Okay. So here uh, we shut down the database and uh, at the time of starting it is throwing error, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. But uh, we can able to recover uh, uh, when it is up, up and running. So we'll see that scenarios. So till now we have, what we have seen is we are shutting down, down the database and uh, we are uh, restoring from the backup. In backup, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, uh, we'll see the space uh, it is available or not. And like uh, one more thing is the RTL of so they are uh, they're storing in the uh, plastic or area. Yep, correct. So how to how to, how to change the location for that one? I don't see any other uh, option. There. Show parameter is there, right? In P file, we need to change. No, the RTL backups. Okay. So normally, we are taking the backups, right? Yeah, yeah. Backups are storing all the plastic over areas. Yeah, yeah. So, how to change the location? I think for specifically to RTL, so there is no, uh, I think there is no specification. Only for channels, uh, we are able to set. I haven't seen a specific location. So we need to uh, take o only one location, specific location. Oh, so that will be in plastic or area? No, no, no. You, you mean backup? Yeah, backup of RK logs. No, no, backup, uh, backup of RK logs is storing here itself. If you perform this one, uh, the backup of the RK log also will store uh, here itself. Let me show you. So in this location itself, uh, the, all the backups are storing. Slash user3 admin db1 uh, 
db2 database this one okay including uh, actual data uh, database backup as well as rtlox backup so if you didn't set this one uh, then it will use the default location rtl uh, default location yeah, the channel device is it right? Because that's why I, I'm, I'm able to get the files, like bus files in that one, but not the archive files. I don't know. Let me, 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 if you see here, SQL test. See, uh, it is uh, only generating archives here. I performed the backup yesterday, okay? But uh, all the pieces are storing at uh, backup location only, not in the archive log location. So these archives also will be generated in the form of pieces. So if you see uh, that log, which is our uh, archive log, uh, uh, like the backup and all, uh, we can see that one, which piece is generating for archives. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I will try to show you uh, some scenarios. Okay, SQL plus slash as system here. Yeah. Okay, I connected to DB2. Okay. okay. Connect Scott slash Tiger. Create table. First we will uh, try to recover uh, from the backup. Okay. Let me go to voice location LS space hyphen LTR. Mm -hmm. 
let us assume like uh, uh, someone uh, deleted uh, this uh, data file uh, by mistake okay while the db is online right yeah yeah while the db is up and running okay now i am in uh, connect slash as is db now connect scott slash tiger uh, which under a user table space okay now okay try to create one table create table emp uh, one three yeah select star from emp okay now what it is showing uh, data file for unable to open okay yes so if you, if you have armen no need to shut down the database we can recover online okay now come out from this sql prompt back to armen target slash target slash means it will connect as a system or like a sys user sys user okay yeah sys for our thing like a connect slash as sys db like we have oh, okay so same as yeah. this one now it's connected to db2 okay now what i have to do is sql okay alter space users offline immediate okay so we need to offline this table space even though if you offline the table space it will allow the operations to perform as we have uh, seen right yeah yeah so uh, where it will store is it will store in the uh, like in the form of archives and read only okay and it will write into data files but it will not update the data file header okay okay once it is updated uh, whenever you are picking the uh, data from data files then it will uh, sit in the data file headers and it will go to the particular location if it, if the data file is uh, not data file headers are not updated then uh, oracle don't know right so we yeah. it so uh, till this time period it will be freezed okay okay now so from uh, the above uh, data file four is uh, corrupted right now just perform this list of data file four okay okay Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, recover data file four. Recover data file four. Four. Only only the data file recover. Okay. Yeah, only, yeah, yeah, particular data file. Yeah. Okay. Now, alter data file. So, uh, it's already open, right? So, come out from this. Yes. SQL plus. We need to bring that to table space online, right? Ah, uh, yeah, correct, correct. You are correct. Yeah. dot slash rmen target slash SQL 
on top of tables there. Okay. So uh, this way uh, we can recover the data file from the previous backup. Okay. So this is one scenario. My another scenario is uh, I have my backup. Okay. And I have done uh, some operations after the backup. Okay. While restoring, uh, I want my operations uh, and my data file to be restored. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now we will connect to database. connect so I already taken the backup okay so yes now I am performing the operations database connect squad slash tiger Uh, by comparing with the uh, user managed and uh, this arm and backup, which one uh, you are feeling uh, comfortable? Which one is easy? Easiest one is arm man only, right? Because nothing yeah, to yeah. do, just. But only thing just is, uh, we should know like many, many days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should check it before doing anything. Yeah, correct. Once you are familiar with uh, this back, this arm and uh, on the fly you can able to tell like. Uh, so this is the file you need to restore, this is the way you need to follow like that. Okay. I'll practice it, yeah. Yeah. But one more thing is we can, yeah. we cannot, can we restore using ARM like uh, on the same server with different DB name? No, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can restore. That is nothing but uh, like auxiliary database, right? So uh, directly you are connecting to ARM. That's uh, we have seen in our uh, like a slide creating the duplicate database. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like uh, duplicate database. But that is on the same server I'm asking you. That is different server, yeah. that is okay, we can do that, but same the server same how do because the files will be located at the same location, that everything will be the same location. No, uh, while uh, creating the P file for uh, duplicate database, uh, you need to go different location. So, okay. auxiliary, uh, like uh, duplicate database, uh, we are creating, right? Yes, yes. For that one, we will create a P file first. Yeah, that yeah, is okay. Yeah. Yeah. In that one, we will we'll specify we'll the locations. Have, yeah, locations, yeah. So, there uh, we need to use this one. Uh, let me show you. You are right, but how the control file is there? Control file will have the old location, right? Regarding yeah. the, then how we, we cannot modify the control file, right? No, we are not modifying control file. Only location we are changing. So in the P file, if you define uh, location change, uh, there is no issue. So whatever the location you are mentioning in the P file, it will uh, generate. Even uh, in the cold backup also, you are taking the backup from cold backup from production. If you want to restore in uh, development, where you will store, you will not store in the same location, right? So you will store in the different location, but while creating control file, we will use the location, actual location. Okay. No, actually, okay. control file only confusion because control file is not, it's, it's a binary file, that's the main reason. SP file, P file, we can create it, we can... Uh, no, no, in control file, uh, what I am uh, trying to say is, uh, we are not changing the control file, we are only changing the location. 
Yes, you are right. Yeah, but yeah. how we cannot modify the control file, right? Now, then how can we change the location? For example, uh, no, that uh, voice level location information will not store in our control file. What so from the P file it will read, right? Whenever you are creating P file. If you are starting with P file, uh, at the time it will read the control file location. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, from the P file, yeah. So first thing we need to do is uh, create a P file. P file create. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Using Arman, yeah. Yeah. Image copy, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here uh, this is nothing but uh, like duplicate database creation. So, okay. So we need to see the same password is uh, setting for uh, Oracle or not password file creation. Okay. You okay. know right how to create password file? Uh, 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 no. Way. Okay, I will show yeah. you. Yeah. Confused listener to the instant. This is one I know, but sort of environment yeah. variables. Okay, environment variable, so yeah, as well uh, we'll set, okay, create an init.ora file for the duplicate database, okay, okay. if the location is uh, different, please use uh, this one. So in uh, while uh, creating OMF database, we are using these uh, two parameters, if you observe. So if you give this one, uh, Oracle will automatically take care about the location based on the parameter defined uh, the P file. Okay, DB file name converter. Yeah, DB file name converter and the log file cannot. This one I don't know, DB file name converter. Because oh. what we did is we create a P file manually, right? Manually change them. Okay. And then and run the open, start the instance with the P file. Yeah. So in the P but file, uh, like, uh, we need to define this one, uh, like um, these parameters we need, uh, while uh, creating OMF, I think uh, we have seen. OMF. Then, uh, uh, yeah, so here, uh, DBCA, part, uh, DBCA, no, not DBCA, manual creation, two types we have seen, one is manual yes, creating yes. PF and uh, Oracle manager files. Oh, Oracle manager files, okay. Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. So there uh, we can define this. Uh, okay. okay. So duplicate and then uh, yeah, we are connecting to duplicate instance. Yeah, this is okay. Can creating an file? These are all okay. Starting no more. No more. So we need to bring this one to no more, and then uh, execute the command. Armin target uh, sys slash oracle. This one. Uh, this is my target and if you want to connect catalog database and auxiliary slash uh, auxiliary database password. Okay. And uh, duplicate target database to? Database uh, to uh, what is my target database name, like a duplicate database name. Okay. This one I got it. Yeah. Okay. And how to create the password file? Just let me know like uh, it's yeah. easy or like? I think there is some 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 utility, right? Some utility to run yeah, or PWD. PWD. Yeah. We have our PWD utility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. EMP underscore today. to make my 
and the db is in uh, rkl mode right yeah 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 correct yeah so for uh, armen uh, we need to keep it in rkl mode yes yes yeah so uh, what i have done is i have taken the backup okay after taking the backup uh, i performed some of the operations in the data file which are not in the hartman backup okay, okay. switch log file So I perform the switch log file. So why I'm performing switch log file here? Uh, because here we are not doing uh, that much operations, right? Yes, yes, I know. I got it. Uh, just for uh, our scenario, uh, I am doing. Okay. So from the voice level, I am uh, my database is up and running. Hmm. And I am moving this uh, to. dbf to slash u02 okay okay kya bol raha hu tha ya okay now let us let us try to insert okay why it is uh, th why it is not throwing error means uh, so some of them uh, it can able to store right in the buffer yes sir before writing into data file so that's why some of the rows are inserted okay okay so yeah. whenever it is uh, trying to write in the data file then it will search for the data file so then it will think like oh, my data file is now not available so it is throwing the error yes okay. yeah so now If you have Armen backup, no need to shut down your database. Okay, directly yes. can connect to target. We can take out the data. Yeah. So these scenarios, so you can able to face issues uh, in development environments. Like uh, whenever you are uh, giving some development environments to uh, application team. Okay. So in the application team also, there used to be one uh, DBA. like uh, who knows uh, like uh, backups and they are based on the application so okay. if he is uh, performing uh, some operations or he deleted some data file then he will contact the major dbs okay okay so the time we can able to perform this scenario but in uh, production uh, uh, do not perform any recovery until and unless so we have the approval from uh, ceo or management yes yes yeah. yeah. because sometimes we don't know till what point it is recovering yes so uh, as per uh, the documents uh, uh, with armen also there are some uh, uh, fraction of uh, seconds data will be missed oh so will not be available uh, through recovery Fr some fraction of data uh, will recovering okay so some documents will say like that yeah Okay. Now, uh, what I have to do? I have to put it in the offline, right? All that yes. I have to do this. Offline. Users. Offline. Immediate. Okay. Users offline immediate. Okay. Now, restore data file for okay. 
okay now is to recover data file for see here if you see here uh, it is uh, checking for our case you are getting me right sequence yes, five yes. ones are applied okay uh, till this uh, it is recovered from the backup and then uh, other the yes. no, after five yeah, yeah. So now alter database open. Now before that uh, we need to uh, make it uh, online. Alter. Sorry. SQL single code. Alter. If you perform this uh, statement in uh, SQL prompt, uh, sometimes it will not work. You need to perform this in uh, RMN level only. Okay. Users online. Now exit. SQL plus dash dash SDBA. Database. Okay, my database is uh, up and running. Now connect to spot slash tiger. To bring the DB uh, offline, online, right? No, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no need to bring down the uh, database. Yeah, table space, yeah. Yeah. So oh, you already bring it down. Okay. okay. I make it up also online. Okay, yeah. Select count of star. Star from MP underscore today. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my part four party records came. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Still here. Yeah. Uh, how many operations we perform? See, uh, two, 224 rows inserted means uh, earlier also we have 224 rows, total uh, 448. Yes. So all the rows are recovered through RMA. So uh, this is a very important uh, scenario. Mostly we will use in uh, real time. Okay, one more option I will show you. Uh, so if you want you can practice that one. Mm -hmm. See, uh, if you have uh, any database, uh, any test database which is running, so what we can do is uh, uh, DD, okay. So, voice level we are connecting the database file. Okay. okay this is the command uh, to corrupt the data file uh, from voice level. DD if uh, slash zero slash zero means uh, uh, it is a uh, converting all the data to zeros okay so output file equal to what is my database file okay okay so but it will take time this command uh, may take time if you have more uh, uh, processor and more rams in the server then it will uh, quickly it will uh, throw the error like it quickly it will uh, come out uh, from this session and uh, we can able to perform this scenario what I have done is yesterday I performed this operation on uh, text.tbf and users.tbf. Okay. Okay. So yesterday so it was running. Yeah. How like voice level can read the data files? Those you are saying. No, oh, I am trying to corrupt corrupt the data file. Sometimes uh, we may see right these files are corrupted. The storage is corrupted like that. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Wanted yes. Yeah, yeah, one time. Yeah, first scenario. So. I just it here. This is not suggestible to perform, uh, uh, but uh, for our uh, practice, yeah, we can perform. Yeah. Yeah. 
so once you corrupt this one uh, it will give the output okay so uh, once it came up from the output uh, same way we can perform this recovery okay so if not working uh, we'll see it on uh, one demo class okay okay so, yeah, anyway. uh, but uh, this command is uh, taking some time for me here. Yeah, that is okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is for uh, today's class. Yeah. Okay. And can you tell me the password configuration like this? Oh, like uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, like uh, if you want to maintain uh, some security for this user, uh, then uh, you will maintain the password file because uh, uh, so some for uh, in uh, some of the organization I have seen like uh, uh, the system system password will not be maintained at uh, DBA level. Okay. Okay. So that time uh, what they have to do is they have to create the password file and they have to hand over to some other team. Who don't know how to connect to database and uh, uh, how to uh, uh, like insert the records like that. So what oh. they will do is uh, uh, they will uh, check for 90 days period and then uh, they will uh, try to change the sys password and system password as per audit. Okay. Okay. So uh, in that scenario only uh, the password will password file will be used. Okay. See, variety would TWD is the command to create the password file. Okay. Okay, and and this will be in the same bin location, right? No, DBS location. So where DBS. we are maintaining the uh, database, uh, sorry, P file. Okay, okay, same location. Okay. PWD. Okay. So, uh, PWD. So file is nothing but uh, what is uh, your. Uh, uh, Password is nothing but system password. Um, file name. Yeah, and we can me, use the, yeah, it will create like this. Let me show you. Okay. Or a PW star. Hmm. So file is nothing but uh, this one, DBA1. Okay. So what I, what I will do is I will change the password of DBA2 now. Okay. Previous password is uh, this one. Let me connect. Yes, it's DBA. So I'm giving Oracle as the password. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, I want to change this password. Ora PWD. Okay. What is my database? Ora PW DBA2. File equal to. or a pw dba2 okay now what is the entry password password is equal to i want to give oracle 123 okay okay and also entries okay a entries is nothing but uh, like uh, if you want to give uh, same password for uh, uh, six hot or tiger like that you can give that one okay okay maximum number of uh, distinct dbs suppose if you created another user like uh, sys then uh, if you want to change the password for that one also you can give that one also so okay. by default it will be uh, like sys okay so whether whether to overwrite the existing file or not we have already have the file so we need to overwrite the existing file force equal to y okay okay so now the password file is created okay So now it's connected with the new password.
So now it's connected with the new password. But uh, before uh, adding uh, uh, here, you are adding a maximum number of distinct DBS, right? So before adding to any user, uh, that user needs to have a 60 DBS privilege. Okay. Okay. So this way uh, we can change the password file. Okay. Got it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, mostly we will not use the system, system user uh, in uh, real time. So they will create okay. individual user ID and uh, they will give that access to uh, uh, yeah, like DBS and all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will take this one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this way you can create the password file and everything. So try to practice the recovery scenarios more and more. Okay. So this is for uh, today's class. So uh, yeah. And uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow actually tomorrow is my marriage day. So we don't have class and tomorrow. So that is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, day after, from day after tomorrow onwards, so uh, we'll start with uh, performance tuning. So I have more concept to dis uh, dis uh, to explain in uh, performance tuning. Okay. We'll okay. see that one also. So we'll try to spend more time in performance tuning also. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Thanks.